Things make most sense when I'm among trees or looking for bugs hiding in grass or watching the water move over rocks. But in most settings, for as long as I can remember, I felt like the world around me was governed by a set of rules that were altogether confusing and hard to follow. I wasn't the only kid in elementary school not paying attention, talking a mile a minute, or managing my time poorly. But these issues peaked when I was nearly held back from fifth grade for behavioral issues. Like losing every homework assignment given to me or going to use the bathroom only to wind up wandering around the halls at school for 35 minutes, unaware of how much time had passed. ADD, or Attention Deficit Disorder, isn't a behavioral issue, though. It's a lack of dopamine, which prevents the neurons in my frontal lobe from carrying out executive functions like prioritization, organization, decision-making, impulse control. Sometimes I can laser focus, but often my attention feels like it's in a pinball machine, bouncing around to unexpected corners, toward new flashy ideas, and around fun little side routes. My parents realized I had to find a way to get my pinball brain to do better in school, though, and after new routines, fish oil pills, and peppermint-scented pencils failed, I moved on to medication. Adderall worked for a while, but I eventually began to feel like I was on autopilot and becoming irritable for no particular reason, and then I tried Vyvanse, which was less robotic, a little bit less effective too, but I felt more like myself, getting caught up in passing details like tree bark textures again. Medication can't untangle and rewire my overstimulated experience of the world, but it helps. If most people focus on a scale of 1 to 10, I kind of focus on a scale of random to 20. If I'm passionate about something, I go all in. If I see a headline about water filtering fungi, then for the next four hours I'm watching videos, reading articles on fungi. I mean, who knew that trees can communicate with each other? The mycorrhizal fungi? What does that even mean? What does that look like? Can I grow mycorrhizal fungi in my garden? I'm googling growing kits. I realized that after four hours, I originally opened my laptop to email my professor, and how did I even start looking up fungi facts? When I finally sit down to write that email, it can take me 15 minutes to string together a few sentences in response. Rather than an attention deficit, ADD is more of a surplus of attention for every little thing that I notice. I just end up focusing on the wrong things sometimes. That feeling of not being in control can be frustrating when I interrupt someone mid-sentence, when I can't organize around a deadline, when I lose my debit card but once a month, or when I'm asked a simple question and my head fills with 10 replies that somehow sort of all spill out at once. It appears differently in adults than kids because we create systems to hide it. I'm always concerned with covering up my mistakes so no one thinks I'm careless, rude, forgetful, bad. In high school, ADD became pretty closely entangled with anxiety, motivated by my need to compensate everything I wasn't doing quickly or correctly. Late assignments led to late nights, and guilt over missed emails led to a habit of overworking. Left unchecked, ADD can cause other effects like self-deprecating thought patterns, depression, or addiction. But I still wouldn't trade my ADD because it's also valuable and has led me to my favorite parts of me whether or not I realized that until lately. I'm determined, creative, good under pressure, and pick up on little details that most people pass by. I've learned the art of multitasking, which has led me to taking pictures at local shows. I formed a deep appreciation of nature as the one place where I feel in place, taking time to get captivated by all the little details in the patch of woods near my house has taught me about the interconnectedness of ecosystems and showed me how the world around me transitions from season to season. Lately, I've been trying to open up the chaotic web of my ADD, give it some air, and disentangle the knots that have formed from trying to ignore it for too many years. It's always going to be part of my fabric, so now I've chosen to grow with my ADD rather than against it. 